Hello everyone, my name is Soon to Be Killer, and welcome to a new series I like to call Gross, Good, Great, and Gold, where I like to review the current games with gold that are available for the Xbox 360 and Xbox One. For people who don't know, Microsoft has a program called Games with Gold, where you can receive four games for free if you have paid for Xbox Live. But the caveat is you can only download these games during a particular month in the year. And most of the time these games are hot garbage. So I wanted to create a review on my YouTube channel that will hopefully allow you to know whether it is worth the storage space to download these games. For the first half of December, one of the games that was free was Saints Row Gat Out of Hell for the Xbox 360. Now this game is actually quite good. I really enjoyed playing this game and it came as a shock that Microsoft decided to make this game free for half of the month. If you don't know much about the Saints Row series, then let me try to sum it up for you. Imagine GTA, but hyped up on crack. Now we aren't talking about regular crack, we're talking about super alien crazy donkey crack. Like seriously, especially this one. This is the newest game in the Saints Row series and it features our boy Johnny Gat waking up in hell and causing a ruckus. Throughout the course of the game you develop superhuman abilities including the power to fly through the skies like the freaking eagles in Lord of the Rings. And this is one of my favorite things about the game because you don't have to hijack a car or simply run to your next destination. This game adds in fast travel locations, but I would ignore those side quests because it is simply so cool to zip across a city like a literal angel. Besides the superhuman abilities you can receive in this game, you also get a lot of cool side quests. There are so many different things that can sidetrack you from the main storyline. One of my personal favorites is a sort of mini game called Salvation, where you dip and dive and try to condemn people back to hell. Okay, that may sound dark, but I swear, it is insanely fun. My second favorite side quest would have to be Mayhem, where you literally just have to mess things up. Take out a rocket launcher and blow new Hades to Kingdom Come, and you rack in money for the things you destroy. Set fire to the world and send your enemies into purgatory! Uh, sorry, this game can get to you sometimes. And third on my list would have to be Torment Fraud, where you try to break your body in the most horrific of ways. You inhabit the body of a disfigured man and try to make money via insurance claims as you get hammered over and over by speeding cars through a busy intersection. It is very reminiscent of Skates 3's Thrasher mode, where you just try and ragdoll your way to victory, if some of you remember that game. Now, there are many other things to get distracted by, like challenges, collectibles, and vehicles, but one thing this game does right is the unique weapons. I don't want to spoil anything, but let's just say you can fully unwind while you kill some fools. <laughs> I can't believe I... <gasps> oh, yes! Oh, nice. Goodbye. There are also a lot of great subtle features that I like about this game. All menus seem super intuitive and are extremely helpful when learning how to play for the first time. Some really great features include the ability to upgrade all your weapons to achieve the ultimate level of chaos down the streets of hell. Next. Boom! Hold on. Whoa! -boom! Oh, 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 oh. Let's go, babe. <laughs> Let's go. You coming with me? Oh. <laughs> it is also worth mentioning how funny this game can be sometimes. I mean, I actually found myself face palming and literally laughing out loud during my first playthrough. The story cutscenes are by far some of my all-time favorites across all video games that I have ever played. I won't give too much away, but here's one clip that I thought was pretty entertaining. Lights. Oh when my god. Humanity's greatest playwright and hell's most diabolical purveyor of entertainment <laughs> looks on as a brave mortal on an Orphean quest enters. The bard's interest is piqued, and he looks to test his visitor's mettle. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Beyond the story, it seems like the writers really made a lot of effort to add in a lot of funny features like this. Oh, get it, get it. Mmm, you're gonna get it. Just you wait, you're gonna get it. You got it. <laughs> or like this. Whoa. Oh. Or even like this. The horn on the bus goes beep 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 beep. So, in conclusion, I legitimately had a lot of fun playing this game, and I highly recommend that people get it, even though, sadly, this game is no longer free when this video comes out. I know, I know, I failed you, but I have some amazing news. Believe it or not, but this game is only 15 bucks on the Xbox Live Marketplace. Now, I'm not sponsored by Saints Row or anything like that, but I do recommend that if you like GTA, and you somehow found some of this video to be a little bit funny, then I would recommend you buy this game. I mean, it really blew me away to learn that this game was only $15, especially when big title games nowadays are like 60 bucks. Also, there is a little bit of a problem. Even though this game was a pretty great game, there was one little downside, and that there was a moment where the game suddenly crashed. Saints Row, yeah, because my Xbox One's fine. But Saints Row is busted. So there's that. But overall, this game officially gets a great rating. And the only reason I don't give it a gold is because I am waiting for a game to really knock my socks off in order to receive that title. But thank you guys for watching, and I hope this review has really helped you. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe in order to see more reviews in the future. And if you guys would like to see where all the gameplay footage came from, come check out my Twitch channel, which is featured in the description below. See you guys later. Bye-bye.